In the wake of the perfectly acceptable Ghostbusters Afterlife, the franchise steams ahead with Ghostbusters and the Empire of Diminishing Returns, in which we follow Minnie Buster Phoebe as she gets cut from the team for health and safety reasons and spends her newly acquired free time befriending a ghost called Melody, never stopping for a moment to question the morality of her family business, being one that captures any and all ghosts they come across in trapping them in a subterranean hell of their own design. While all that bollocks is going on, the Ghostbusters have to deal with some skinny ass demon dude who can kill people with fear itself. Is he gonna murk people like the ring? No. Is it like that dude from Bleach? No. Is everyone gonna shit themselves? No. Instead, he freezes everyone. You see, fear is ice for some reason, potentially complicating that fight from Bleach. But don't ask too many questions. Ice is fear, fear is ice, just go with it. Meanwhile, Phoebe, a troubled teenager who's just been fired from the job she loves and is obviously going through some shit, casually asks Ray what he thinks it would be like to be a ghost, to which he swoons about how wonderful it would be floating through shit, haunting bitches, and assumably giving out phantom blowies, forgetting entirely what he does for a living as well as the multiple red flags implied by her question. Pretty much given the green light by Ray, Phoebe offs herself with science so she can get touchy-feely with her new chum, only to find it's all been part of an elaborate ruse to release iced tea over here. Not that any of that matters, because like so many Ghostbusters villains who have aspirations of taking over the world, he only manages to get halfway across one room before getting his shit absolutely wrecked. To say Frozen Empire is a bit of a mess would be an understatement. The big bad has to be unleashed, but can kind of do what he does from the beginning of the film anyway, so it doesn't matter. The Spengler family have taken over the mantle of Ghostbusters, but turns out Winston's been doing it on the sly for 40 years anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ice Ice Baby kills an entire room of dorks by freezing them to death, but then freezes the entire city of New York in the same manner, with apparently zero casualties, so it doesn't matter. Then there's the new mayor, Walter Peck, the EPA guy from the original. Again, like the original, he's framed as the antagonist, but again, like the original, does nothing wrong in mistrusting the Ghostbusters or wanting to rein in their shenanigans. In fact, the only thing he does do wrong is capitulate to the mob right at the end, joining in with their misplaced praise of the Ghostbusters, the people who caused all of this. So that's it, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, a film James Acaster probably thought looked like a good opportunity on paper, but in reality is the kind of film he would probably make fun of you for wasting your time watching. 2 out of 10.